Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of our studio. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient in our studio. The data set that I'm going to use in this video can be downloaded from our website. The link is given in the description. Let me begin with the introduction. The Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient is used to find the linear association between two quantitative variables. And these two quantitative variables must be normally distributed. So Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient is a parametric test. The normality assumption is required to perform this test. Let me show you the data. So I'm going to use this data. We have the uh, data on consumption expenditure and income. CE is our consumption expenditure. Here, these two are quantitative variables. Both are normally distributed and therefore we can use Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient to find the association between these two variables. The data is saved as PC, Pearson correlation. You can see this command. The data set is saved as PC. So let's begin with the uh, R script. So you can use core dot test command to find the association between two variables. The command is cor dot test that is test. So PC is our data set and in this data set we have consumption expenditure and income. So we want to find the association between consumption expenditure CE and income and these two variables are stored in PC data file. Then write alternative, which is two-sided. Then write method. So which method we are going to use? So we are going to use Pearson method. If you use uh, Spearman's rank correlation, you need to write Spearman. And then confidence dot label is equal to 0 0.95. That means our level of significance is 0 0.05 and simply run the data. You can see the result in console. So it is Pearson's product moment correlation. You can see the correlation coefficient is 0 0.9376162. Now, before we interpret this result, we need to check whether this correlation coefficient is statistically significant or not. So you can see the associated T value is 7.6278, degree of freedom is 8, and P value is less than 0 0.05. This is our P value. So you can see the P value is less than 0 0.05. Right, And therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Now, what is the null and alternative hypothesis for Pearson's correlation coefficient? The null hypothesis says that there is no significant association between two variables against the alternative hypothesis of significant association. So here, the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that let, let me note down, we reject null because p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore we conclude that there is significant association between consumption expenditure and income. Now, what is the strength of the association? So you can see the correlation coefficient is 0 0.9376162. So that shows we have strong positive association between consumption expenditure and income. So this is how we can compute the Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient in our studio.
If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.